Taylor, Mississippi, 1948, a sleepy town. People knew their neighbors. They trusted the quiet. The lockets were no different. They worked their farm, a picture of rural life. But that peace was an illusion. It hid something monstrous, something lurking in the woods. The first sign was the silence. The usual night sounds vanished. Crickets stopped chirping. Owls no longer hooted their lonely calls. An unnatural stillness settled over the land. It was the calm before the storm, a storm of terror. The locket started hearing things. Strange sounds drifted from the tree line, rustling leaves that sounded too heavy, twigs snapping under unnatural weight, low growls that sent shivers down their spines. They dismissed it at first, wild dogs they thought. A bobcat maybe, but doubt gnawed at their courage. The sounds grew bolder, closer. One night Martha Lockett saw it, a fleeting glimpse through the moonlit window, a tall dark figure at the edge of the woods, standing on two legs, watching. She told her husband, but he dismissed her fears. It was just their imaginations, he insisted. But deep down, fear was taking root. They were being watched, hunted. The attack started subtly. A chicken missing from the coop. One of the dogs found torn apart in the morning. The lockets tried to rationalize it. Wild animals, they told themselves. But the attacks escalated. One morning, they found their prize bull dead drained of blood. The ground was churned up marked with huge inhuman footprints. Fear turned to terror. This was no ordinary predator. This was something else, something monstrous. The lockets armed themselves. They doubled their patrols. Sleep became a distant memory. Their once peaceful farm was now a prison a prison with an unseen warden. They were living on borrowed time, waiting for the next attack. Then it happened, the siege, they were trapped. The creatures surrounded the farmhouse. The lockets huddled inside, their faces illuminated by the flickering lamplight. The shadows danced on the walls. Every creak of the floorboards sent their hearts racing. Outside, the creatures prowled. Their heavy steps shook the ground. Their guttural growls sent shivers down their spines. The siege had begun. The night stretched on, an eternity of fear. The creatures circled the house. Their eyes glowed in the darkness, two points of malevolent fire. The lockets held their breath. They prayed for the sun to rise, for the nightmare to end. But the creatures were relentless. They were toying with their prey, savoring their fear. Days turned into nights. The lockets were trapped. Supplies dwindled. Fear gnawed at their sanity. The creatures remained, a suffocating blanket of terror. The children whimpered, pale with hunger and fear. Martha Lockett tried to be brave, her eyes red-rimmed from worry. Her husband John was their rock, his resolve unwavering. He would protect his family. The silence broken by growls and whispered prayers. They needed help, but who would believe their story? Who would dare venture into this nightmare? They were alone at the mercy of the unknown. The night of the howl, it started with a deafening roar, a primal scream that tore through the night. The creatures were agitated, frenzied. The lockets clung to each other, their faces white with terror. The house shook with the creature's fury. 
it felt like the walls themselves would crumble under their assault. Then, as quickly as it began, it stopped. Silence descended once more, a heavy, ominous silence. The lockets held their breath, listening for any sound. Minutes ticked by, each one an eternity. Then, a new sound, a slow, rhythmic thudding. Footsteps moving away from the house. The creatures were leaving, retreating back into the shadows. The siege was over. The lockets were left to pick up the pieces. Their farm was in ruins. Their lives forever changed. The news of the siege spread through Taylor like wildfire, but others, those who lived close to the woods, they knew better. They had heard the whispers too, seen the fleeting glimpses. The lockets eventually rebuilt their lives, but the fear remained. The mystery of the creatures remained unsolved, a chilling reminder that some mysteries are best left unsolved.